Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Interesting question here from a viewer. Uh, this is entitled B700 versus P900. So we're looking at the two Nikon Ultra Zooms. I do have the B700 in here right now for um, review. And I've had the P900 in. Now, the B700 is an equivalent 1200 millimeter effective field of view when we put that into 35 mil full frame terms. So consider it a 1200 mil lens. The P900 is a 2000 mil lens, so almost double. So we're looking at a big, big, big difference in reach. The P900's got a heck of a lot of reach. When I had it here, when I was shooting with it, when I was evaluating it, it was fun. I gotta tell you, it's like having a telescope with a camera mounted to it. Now, Josh's question here is, uh, hi guys, love the YouTube videos. My biggest question is, do I go with the B700, the Nikon B700, or the Nikon P900. Now, I know you've done this review. I've watched it numerous times. My question is, does the 4K of the B700 make up for the zoom on the P900 or even come close? I'll be filming wildlife from a long distance. I like the idea of 4K, but I also love the idea of the 2000 millimeter equivalent on the P900. I dare say my filming and photos will be from 100 to 1,000 meters. Cheers, Josh Price, surveillance officer. So, Josh is a surveillance officer, so he's writing in. And he wants to know B700, P900. And he's weighing 4K versus almost twice the zoom, 2,000 millimeter zoom. This is interesting because these are two very, very different specs, two very different features of a camera. And to have to weigh them against each other is hard. Um, yeah, I would, raw, I, I would like to have the 2,000 millimeters. However, with the B700, I get raw images, which is huge for me. You don't get that on the P900. And you get 4K. So for me, if I was buying between the two, plus the B700 is a little cheaper, I would probably buy the B700. There's my honest, quick answer for what I would do. Reasons being, I do like the 4K, and I do like the RAW. Actually, the RAW is probably even a bigger deal for me, I guess. I don't know. That's a hard call. But the ability to get RAW images is huge, and it's an oversight, I think, that it was left out of the P900. Now, which one should you do, filming wildlife from a distance? That's a tough question. I don't know. Um, if you're doing video, you're going to really like the 4K. And it's going to be a big advantage. But then you also don't have the reach. Do you need the reach? I think only you can answer this question. Um, what's more important to you? The ability to shoot 4K video or the ability to have that almost double, that 2,000 millimeter zoom? The other thing is, is that maybe you should wait for the Nikon P1000. So that's going to be 3,000 millimeter super telephoto. The ability to shoot raw and 4K. Yeah, it's going to be more money. It's going to be, I think, $1,200, $1,000, $1,200, something like that. I'll put a link below. However, that's got everything in it. So I guess it depends what your pocketbook can handle. Because if you're having a hard time between losing the 2,000 mils going to the B700, but then you want the 4K from the B7, well, the P1000 solves everything. So I guess it just depends on your budget. For me, I would go B700 because the 4K and the raw image files outweigh that extra zoom because that 1200 millimeters is still pretty long. I've been having a lot of fun with it too. On the other hand, I did have an awful lot, like giggle fun, like literally. That's like how you'd be giggling with how bloody long the 2000 mils is, how close you can zoom in, how far you can reach out. It's like shooting with a telescope. It's pretty fun. But I think if I was buying between the two, I'd go B700 for the reasons I said. What would you guys do? Uh, would you buy a B700 for the 4K and the RAW? Or would you buy the P900 for the extra reach, that 2000 versus 1200? Or would you wait for the P1000, which is going to be 3000 millimeters RAW and 4K, and arguably probably better at all of that than either of the other two cameras? It's newer, it's better, it's Nikon's putting some oomph into this new camera. What would you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help them out. Let's see what you guys would do. Let us know what you would do and why your reasoning helps our viewers when they write in. They have a question. They're going to spend some money. Uh, a lot of times you guys give opposing views maybe to what I had said or bring up something I missed or didn't think of. And it just rounds out all the information they have to consider. It's like, you know, you get a round table of debate about what you should do. And it's like a big sounding board for people to uh, finalize what they think they want to do. So that would be great. Looking forward to hearing your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.